I found some clips of sparring sessions that went really, really bad. Like this guy who basically runs into another guy's fist and gets knocked down. And also like Shannon Briggs, the former heavyweight champion, knocking this guy out with a left hook in sparring. I've got so many clips to show you and they're all absolutely crazy. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing. So make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. Now let's get straight into it. Oh no. What an absolute idiot. What an absolute idiot. Letting the guy punch him and getting knocked out. You can't be letting people punch you in the face. No matter how tough you think you are, you will get knocked out just like this guy did here. You wouldn't play football and let someone score a goal for free, so why would you box and let someone land a punch for free? Doesn't make sense. These guys look legit. Ooh, ooh. Boom, lean back. Now that was a solid right hand. Oh, good. Ooh, big right hook, again on the chin, and he puts him down. Yeah, that was a hard shot, solid shot. And you know, with sparring, sparring is for learning. If you're trying to knock each other out in sparring, you know, you're not going to get the most out of it. Although I do understand that going hard in sparring does prepare you for fights because you are trying to knock someone out and someone's trying to knock you out, so it does prepare you, but you shouldn't be hard sparring all the time. Ooh, that was a lovely lead uppercut. There it is again. Slipping, boom. Now that is a hard punch to land in sparring or fights. Slipping inside, blasting up with that lead uppercut. Javon of Davis did that in one of his recent fights. Oh, I've seen this clip before. Everyone thought this was Tyson Fury sparring. Boom. Getting knocked down. Look at the size of that guy. And he does look like Tyson Fury. Yeah, there was rumours going out he got dropped in sparring, but it is not him. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, solid shot. And if you notice exactly where that punch lands, it hits him right on the temple. If you're getting hit on the temple, that's gonna shake your brain and disorientate you, which makes you ultimately fall on the ground like we've seen there. Oh, these guys are going hard. All right, oh, stop it now. Oh, what? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Now that right there is enough for me, if I'm his coaches, to not let him back in the gym because that is that's pretty disgusting. He heard the guy and the guy wasn't firing back. It's a sparring session. We're here to learn. Stop punching. Stop throwing them punches. That was disgusting. Ooh, big right hand. Ooh, there it's again. I think I was the same punch. He's hurt him. Dropped him with a body shot. So with a sparring session like that, uh, yeah, again, I don't know what's went on before the spar. I don't know what the, these two guys might have fought each other in the past. I don't know, but it was a little bit rough. Oh, there it's there. Like I said, he just ran into him. Let's watch that again in slow motion. Yeah, I don't know what he was trying to do there. Okay, what we got here? We got a big guy versus a not so big guy. Oh. Hang on a minute. Let's watch that again. So he's taking the punches. Now this guy must be 30, 40 pounds heavier than the other guy. And the thing that I don't like about this is what he does after he knocks him down with that body shot. Watch it again. Boom, knocks him down. Walking away like, yeah. Zero respect there. Now, again, I don't know what's going on before this, but if I knocked someone down with a body shot, which I did lots of times, I would be like, I'm sorry, mate, even though I might be mentally a little bit happy and it makes you feel good because you've had success. But with this guy just walking away, didn't even look at him, a um, bit disrespectful right there. Here it is, Shannon Briggs. Boom. Ooh, big left hook. Now there, Shannon Briggs, former heavyweight champion of the world. What did he do as soon as he knocked the guy down? He went over and said, I'm sorry, because Shannon Briggs gets it. He's got that experience. Now, the guy before with the yellow T-shirt on, I would have liked to have seen that from him. Go on, tell the guy, no, I'm sorry, I hope you're okay. I've probably smashed your ribs up, but I hope you're okay. So respect to Shannon Briggs for that. Over here in the mirror of the gym in Las Vegas. These are known for hard spars. Ooh, these are known for fights in the gym. Again, another lead uppercut. Whoa, and I've just heard there, listen this, listen to the crowd. When he drops down. 
And there's obviously a lot of people there getting entertained, cheering and, and wanting these guys to knock each other out. And then they got what they asked for and that's where they went, oh! Got here, two guys. Ooh, big right hook. They're both going punching hard punches. And these guys look like they're punching really hard as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was solid. Again, another punch landing right in the temple. And I love it, their opponents went straight up to him and you know, try to help him up and see if he's okay. So you got a pair of guys in the garage at home it looks like. Now look at that, that position right there. This is the worst position you can be in in boxing. Turn away, you need to keep your eyes on your opponent at all times, no matter how uncomfortable you are. You need to keep facing forward. Look at this position right here, look at it, look at it. He's looking down at the floor, he can't see anything that's coming. And he's wide open. Oh, he's wide open for that body shot. Yeah, and that's what happens. He's went down there. Yeah, eyes on your opponent at all times, no matter how uncomfortable you feel doing it. Finish it. Wait, what? Did I just hear the coach shout, finish him? Let me see that again. Surely not. Finish it. Finish it. The coach is saying finish it. What sort of coach is that? Let's see if he does finish it. I'm guessing he will. Oh, big right hand. Oh, oh, left hook on the chin. On the temple, yeah, and he falls down pretty heavy right there. Yeah, sad. Coach, finish it. Come on, mate. You're not going to learn anything from that. Would you like me to review one of your boxing training videos? If so, post it on Instagram or on TikTok and use hashtag Tony Jeffries and I'll grab your video. I'll do a reaction video like this on your video. Also, if you want to see some of the craziest boxing videos on TikTok, click here and watch this next where I dive deep into the crazy boxing videos on TikTok. Click here. Click it.